He's one of the first in France to have taken the leap. Morris Quack has set up an anaerobic digester on his farm to break down organic matter produced by his animals and in turn creates gas. The digester mimics what happens inside a cow's digestive system. We've recreated part of that process within the tanks. It's been 10 years since he first invested in the system. Waste collected from the herds, crops and food is all used to produce biogas, which is just as good quality as the conventional fossil fuel gas. Moritz is able to generate 13 gigawatt hour per year and feed this back into the pipes. That's enough to supply several hundreds of households nearby. We're able to produce our own renewable energy. By 2030, farmers and all the others involved in anaerobic digestion in France should be able to produce 20% of our country's energy requirements. So if we develop it properly, we won't need to rely on Russian gas anymore. And the digestate, which is what remains after the fermentation, can be used in the fields. This digestate has retained all of its agronomical benefits. It isn't organic, but compared to the chemical fertilizers I used to buy, it's much more natural. So there are two positives here, less pollution and less dependence on the ever-changing value of common chemical fertilizers which is directly linked to energy prices, which have soared these past months. While organisations like the World's Wildlife Fund recognise the benefits of biogas, they're warning against new practices that could impact the prices and availability of raw materials. What we don't want to see is farmers using pesticides, artificial fertilizers, or irrigating fields just to collect waste for digesters. After all, the point of farming is to provide food. But farmers in France will soon be able to rely on a new source of waste, with leftovers from homes set to be collected as of next year. The system has already been put into place by several councils in the Paris region. People like Rémi Boustex spread the awareness, handing out small brown bins to residents. So in here, you need to put all of your food waste, all of your leftovers, eggshells, yoghurt, bones, anything from your meals. You can put it in here. So when I peel the potatoes, Exactly. It's compost, basically. When I get up in the morning, I know I'm doing something that's good. I'm doing it for a cause that I care about a lot, for the planet. It pains me to see all of this rubbish on the floor, to see that not everyone recycles or everyone using cars. I'm doing something that will make a change here. Food waste here will be sent to a new processing plant in the northwest of Paris. The centre aims to provide enough gas for 5,000 households and enough digestate to fertilise 2,000 hectares. From farm to plate to bin, the food sector accounts for 15% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. So by changing some of our habits, we're reducing our impact on the climate. The sector currently produces eight and a half terawatt hour, more than a single nuclear reactor. And France is hoping to double its production by 2025.